Nearly everyone interested in space has seen this picture. It was released by NASA and has the iconic name, the Blue Marble 2. You can find the picture everywhere, but one of the best places to find it is, NASA's own website. This photograph is iconic because NASA says it is one of the most detailed true color images of the entire Earth to date. To put it in a nutshell, the picture is iconic. Well, amazingly, it turns out a number of internet sleuths, have now found compelling new evidence that the image is indeed a fake. Now, let's take a look. At first the photo seems legit. I mean, it looks like Earth, the Earth that we have always been told we live on. But as the savvy internet sleuths point out, if you take a closer look, things start to take a somewhat sinister turn. Look closely at the repeating cloud pattern. Here we can see clear examples that the photograph has not only been doctored, or constructed, but also strong evidence that whoever done the doctoring, used repeating photographic templates. That is, they cloned parts of the image and repeated it. That is, the photograph is a construction. This does not happen in nature. Clouds do not repeat in the same pattern like this. The chances of this happening in the same photograph, are low. The only way this could happen, is if someone has cloned clouds, and painted them on. This of course could be for a number of reasons, you could argue that NASA simply touched up the photograph for effect. Or that it was a problem with the imaging systems that were used. But still the question exists, why is NASA releasing fake pictures of Earth? If they are going to release a picture of Earth, to be used in museums and by educators, as they state for the Blue Marble 2. Then should they not release real images of Earth, instead or manipulated or fake images? Since, the natural extension of this is, what other images have they doctored? The Moon, Pluto? Mars? Maybe all of them. And if they are faking pictures to such an extent, whether by wanting them to look better, or other reasons, then what real scientific value are they? Isn't science about finding the truth? And is that not hard to do? when you are being fed inaccurate, or in this case, completely manufactured data. NASA says these images are to be used by educators, museums, and scientists. Which means, they are passing off the image as a real picture of Earth, when it is not. What do you guys think? Do you think something sinister is going on? Or is there some harmless and less exotic reason? There are great ideas undiscovered, breakthroughs available to those who can remove one of truth's protective layers. Then in 2002, Blue Marble 2.0, NASA's Rob Simon made this. And it had wide appeal too. For example, it ended up as the default background on the iPhone. I didn't even know until I bought an iPhone um, and turned it on and kind of did a little happy dance. Simmons' job is... It's primarily taking data and making pictures out of it. That's what this is. A composite of data sets from several different instruments translated into a picture. The, to us, the really cool thing was the data set. Up until that point, there was no realistic color map of the globe anywhere. So the land layer here comes from the moderate resolution imaging spectral radiometer aboard Terra. And the tricky part here was the weather. So we actually had to take clouds out. They stashed the clouds for later, went onto the ocean. That came from an instrument that measures phytoplankton in the sea. Where it was low, I colored it dark blue because they're low mostly in mid-oceans. And then where it was a little bit higher, it was like a little bit brighter green. Then add the clouds back in. There's a small problem with it because there's a very slight gap in between each orbit. So some of those are painted on. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. Then? There was another layer to sort of simulate the atmosphere. And then there's this little bright spot. It's called the specular highlight. So it's the reflection of sunlight off of water. Those are the pieces, but you can't just slap them all together. It just didn't look realistic. It looks kind of flat or the clouds are sort of too see-through. So I just hit Command-Z a lot. There's artistry to creating the world. What I imagine it to be. Um, unfortunately, I'm not an astronaut. <laughs> I've never been to space. But 
I've looked at these images over and over again, trying to sort of get the essence of it. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. One small step for man, one 